Welcome to another episode of Justin vs. Justin. I'm Justin with an E. And I'm Justin with an I. Today, we have something a lot of people like, a lot of people love. We're talking 90s cartoons. That's right. We've got our cans of Surge here, commemorating the 90s. Cheers to yep. the 90s. I think we're going to start with something I loved. What's that? Ren and Stimpy. Yes. The story of a dog and a cat. That's Classic. Right. Older than time. Mm. Yeah, the um, Ren, the asthma hound chihuahua, and yes. Snippy, the uh, cat. <laughs> the, <laughs> the, cali the calico the cat, I don't know. Right? I loved the show growing up. Great show. It was dirty, vile, funny. Mm -hmm. Everything that a kid's cartoon shouldn't be. Everything had hair on it. It did. You know? <laughs> it's one of those. Well, I think that's why I loved it so much. It was a show about hairballs, pee, mm -hmm. everything a kid would find hilarious. It was absolutely disgusting and even some of the things now kind of turn my stomach. <laughs> it's like it was fun. It was well, a spectacle. Every, every time they talk about Ren's teeth they're all rotten and stinky. And, Ren's mouth. Yeah. Yep. Ren's brain. <laughs> did you ever play that Super Nintendo game? I did. Yeah, where you actually have to go inside of Ren's mouth yep. and dodge his teeth. I, I have the Sega Genesis game. Oh, yeah. And uh, I think I actually had it on Game Gear also. Oh, okay. wow. Game Gear had one? Yes, Game Gear had one in Stimpy game. Wow. And, uh, yeah, no, and I had the CDs. So, old, yeah, the old CDs. Old pal Stinky Wizzleteaks. Yeah. This is a song about a whale. No! This is a song about being happy. That's right. If and you ain't the granddaddy of all liars. I'll teach your grandmother to suck <laughs> eggs. I told you and she, but you didn't believe me. It's like a fly man, a bumblebee. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> Yeah, I suspect he had some problems. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it. Yeah, it was great. Happy, but, happy, joy, joy, happy. So um, when uh, when this came out, this came out the same day. I think I remember the Nick premiere or something like that. It was in like 91 or something like that. And um, it was Doug, yep. right, which I enjoyed. Rugrats, which became a huge phenomenon. Oh, yeah. And Ren and Stimpy. Yeah, all in the same All breath. three of those cartoons became huge. Followed, you know, maybe a year or two later by Rocco's Modern Life, yep. which was another great show. Yep. But we'll talk about that some other time. Yeah, I mean, those are all great shows that deserve their own episode in their own right, because just like Ren and Stimpy, they spanned years and generations. And Oh, yeah. And, and kids today are still talking about them. Yeah, kids and adults. I, I mean, I had, um, I remember going to Nickelodeon Studios in like, oh, yeah. 1992. And uh, we were going to see, uh, like, Clarissa Explains It All. <laughs> yep, yep, and, I remember um, that show. You know, I bought a Ren and Stimpy t-shirt, and, you know, that was that was amazing. Oh, I used to have little Ren and Stimpy action figures. Oh, and... that would be cool. I would get that. Yeah, I had... The, I, I saw had... a pop vinyl for him. That would be neat. Yeah, I, I want to get the pop vinyls. I haven't gotten them yet. I feel like it would fit in well with Tom uh, Servo and Crowley. I think it would. Yeah. Definitely. I think that would be a good idea. We should look into that. <laughs> so... Yeah, do you have a favorite episode? I I do actually. I think my okay. favorite one's the Royal Canadian Yaksman. Uh, yeah, um, they're great. And what just, was the other just one? Just because they're anthem. The shaving yak. <laughs> yeah. Happy shaving yaks day. <laughs> yeah. I said that to someone one time. They looked at me like I had three <laughs> friggin' heads. It was the greatest. Yeah. No, I like the Cano Canadian Royal uh, Yaksman. Uh, the song. Is that the stomp, stomp, stomp for justice? No, it's, no, it's uh, a different one. Okay. Oh, I, I, I'd have to look up all the lyrics. I haven't I heard it in so long. I just remember I loved it so much. and <laughs> It was just a great episode. I, yeah, I, I, I always thought it was great because I think that was like a special event episode yeah. where it was on and it was on SNCC. And I remember being so disappointed because SNCC would always, like Saturday Night Nickelodeon, yeah. it was on after Roundhouse and before Are You Afraid of the Dark. Yep. So, but they would always kind of like jerk us around by playing the um, Don't Whiz on the Electric Fence episode. Which is very funny, but it's like, when you're watching Ren and Snippy, you don't want to watch the same damn episode every week. So. Well, after that, they also introduced <laughs> one of my favorite things. Ooh, what's that? Log. Log? What, from rolls downstairs, downstairs over in pairs, rolls over, over your neighbor's, neighbor's dog. dog. It's great, great for a snack, it fits on your back. back. It's log, log, log. It's log, it's log. log. It's, it's big, it's heavy, it's wood. <laughs> log, log. It's better, it's better than that. that. It's good. <laughs> Everyone loves a log. You're gonna love it, log. <laughs> yeah, it's really fun. <laughs> <laughs> Our sponsor tonight is, good. is Log from Blama. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Coming from a long line of fictional sp sponsors. <laughs> yes. but uh, A long line of two. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to say, yeah, the Canadian Royal Yaksman, my favorite one. 
but they had so many great characters too mm -hmm. that it's hard to choose. My, mine is um, the uh, belly button, Jerry the belly button elf. <laughs> yeah, those are good ones. But um, I mean, for characters, you know, um, Mr. Horse. Yeah, Mr. Horse. No, sir, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Powdered toast yeah, man. Yeah, powdered toast man. So he um, he fires croutons out of his armpits. He flies <laughs> backwards, and it's the voice of Gary Owens. Yes. Grab on tenaciously to my buttocks. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, powdered sure was... <laughs> toast man. I think it was just amazing, like the little fake commercials they stuck into the show that of just course. made it even yeah. the best. Like log. Don't whiz on the electric, electric fence. fence. Yeah. Yeah. Powdered Toast Man's commercials. Oh yeah, for like powdered toast. Yeah, yeah. yeah so uh, the show was just amazing. I like the um, the bit characters that they have, like Kowalski, who kept showing up again, and he's like this this like horrible convict that's got like hair on every inch of his body. <laughs> like they show his knuckles, and they're all like, he's so gross. He's got like carbuncles. <laughs> it's just nasty. <laughs> and um, Ren and Snippy um, adopt him. And the thing I always go back to is when they're having a picnic and he's on furlough and all that. And he goes, what do you want to eat, Kowalski? And he goes, meat! <laughs> then they give him a meat sandwich with meat on the inside. And then he spits it out and he goes, what toasted me? Oh, man. I, I'm glad I wasn't drinking chocolate milk as a youngster. Or something is like... <laughs> no. And thinking about it, it's like... Even SpongeBob, like I think, it's, it's based a lot on Ren and Stimpy. Oh, it, it has to be, yeah. Because I mean, a lot of the, the cartoon drawings and stuff are, are almost close to the same. Whenever they draw in detail on SpongeBob and they make it go to where like he's got like a five o'clock shadow or something yeah. like that, that is a direct Ren and Stimpy reference. It is absolutely because they, they were just so great that I think they they, they set up for Ren and Stimpy. Or Ren and Stimpy set up. Uh, Spongebob. Now, do you remember the Ren and Stimpy reference on um, The Simpsons? When it was no. um, Abe Simpson um, wrote the uh, Itchy and Scratchy episode? And then I they don't had, remember that um, one. Yeah, yeah. So they were at like the, uh, the I want to say the Emmys or something like that. And um, uh, Bart and Lisa are there with um, Abe, Grandpa Simpson. Yeah. And, um, you know, they're there watching the little clips of, of all these shows. And one of them is like, Stimpy, you idiot. Those aren't mothballs. Those are my, my hairballs. And he's like, ah, and his eyes pop. And it was on The Simpsons. I'm like, that is so cool. It's amazing. And it, then it was. Not to mention too, you started every episode with the classic composed song. Mm. Started dum 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 dum. Pretty much. Dum, 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 dum. It was like getting a lesson in classical music in every episode. It was. We learned something from Ren and Snuffy. We did. Yeah. You know. <laughs> I. Um, how about that theme song, man? Oh, it's great. Jazzy. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Yeah, no, that was great. I I just, I'm reliving my childhood in my head right now. Oh, yeah. All the yeah. Ren and Stimpy things. I mean, when we decided to talk about this, I didn't think I'd be this excited. <laughs> I'm like, oh, man, this is great. And I watched like three episodes uh, in preparation, and um, there was an episode that was banned, and um, I had to see it. So it was uh, this character who's kind of like, his name is George Licker. And um, <laughs> he's this old war veteran. And he picks up um, Ren and Stippy in a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, like a pet shop window and all that. And it's just, he's so freaking abusive. It's crazy. And you're like, yeah, you know. Like he, uh, he decides to keep them in his fishbowl. And uh, the fish actually leaves the house. And he's like, well, I'm out of here. He's got a cigarette in his mouth and steals their car. It's so crazy. <laughs> you know, it's just, you think about it, it's like this is just that timeless sort of thing that's, um, it's always funny, but it's it's never going to happen again. <laughs> yeah. You know? But, no, I mean. Oh, Lump and Loaf. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Lump and Loaf, the wrestlers. Uh, Sven Hoek and his later hosen. <laughs> Ren goes insane. The rubber nipple salesman. <laughs> oh, God. Right? Yeah. You need salve! <laughs> Oh, do you remember the one where uh, uh, Stimpy uh, makes the uh, mind control helmet for Ren? Oh my God! And yeah. make, he's extremely happy. That's um, that's the Happy Happy Joy Joy yeah, episode. The, yeah, yeah. And and I like um, they played it on a record player, you know. So <laughs> yeah. it's like all this stuff is happening. And it's still um, it's like this homage to throwing it back to the Looney Tunes. Yeah, I just like I guess the Happy Happy Joy Joy. They like start hitting each other with hammers and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Space madness. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, um, Muddy Mudskipper show. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm trying to think of, of so many great episodes. Yeah. I remember I had them all on, on VHS growing up, all the orange tapes. Oh, yeah? Yeah, oh. The, the orange VHS tapes. Now, did you watch the stuff that was on, like, right before it or after it? Because I, I know we had talked before about Are You Afraid of the Dark? Like, yes. was that your show? I wa- of course I watched Are You Afraid of the Dark. That was. I didn't much care for Roundhouse, which was on right before it. <laughs> I so, don't think I ever watched Roundhouse. Yeah, it was kind of bullshit. So <laughs> it, was, it was like trying to like it was like an old. Comedian. Yeah, there you go. You heard it first. <laughs> Eight year old Justin and sitting at home. This is bullshit. Roundhouse is bullshit. <laughs> but it's it was like these dancing and singing vignettes and all that and like this this comedian who was pretending to be like their father and all that when he was clearly like five years older than them. Yeah. They gave him glasses and a pipe. <laughs> like are you serious? So, you know, it was um, it was not my favorite thing. <laughs> clearly. <laughs> Eight year old you was sitting on the couch. This is bullshit. Oh no, no. I'd be on the I was on the floor sorting baseball or possibly Ninja Turtle cards. Uh, uh, yes. Definitely Ninja Turtle cards. <laughs> Back when trading cards were popular. Yeah, and they were a waste of uh, everything. Yeah, I mean, they kind of came back with Pokemon. But. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Pokemon and like Magic, the Gathering, and all that. that I mean, that's that's what kind of brought them back. And um, and and when uh, our Batman episode didn't record, but I was saying I have a whole <laughs> box of Batman um, trading cards for like their trading card set. Oh, I do too. That's where I tried Indian like centers. the terrible gum. Yep. Yeah. Uh, they, they had Nicktoons <laughs> trading cards. I'm sure of it. Yeah, actually, shout out to Batman trading cards. Actually, my friend uh, Matt, he just went to a uh, toy collectible store, and actually they had packs of the Batman cards still. Very he nice. bought them with the hard gum in them and everything. Ooh. So I'm waiting, Matt, for an episode where you eat that. I want to eat, see you eat that 30-year-old gum. I will eat it. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you if you show up with that, I will probably eat it. Maybe we'll see if we can get Matt on, a, on an episode here with a pack of old Batman gum. Now, if he shows up with Pogs, that's another story. Oh, <laughs> we'll have a Pog <laughs> off. <laughs> that's right. 90s, we're talking Pogs. 90s! So you think we could come up with some Ren and Stimpy Pogs? I used to have the Pog Maker. You can make your own Pogs. I always liked... Um, uh, again on The Simpsons. Elf, he's back in pog form. Made <laughs> <laughs> the giant Steve Allen pog. <laughs> well, I laughed. I was watching comic book because I had them all recorded from like last season because I never got around to watching them. And they had an episode where somebody brought pogs into the store and tried to sell them. Did they have Jane Silent Bob pogs? No, they didn't. But they were like, they were trying to get like sixty bucks for them. I'm like, oh come on. <laughs> Nobody's paying sixty bucks for. And pogs. you know, you know what? I guarantee you, they had like Power Ranger pogs because oh, that was I, like, yeah, that was like the start. Of I it. am not a Power Ranger guy. I'm just putting that out there. It was past my time. It was not a thing for me. But oh, some was, people, loved. I loved it. You loved it. See, I loved there's it. a battle right there. I had a Megazord. Yeah, I was. It that was, was the like, original, and then after that, I don't know. see, my younger cousins were into it and all that, and it's like, yes, I can appreciate Amy Jo Johnson, absolutely, oh, and yeah. Trina, and Trina too, yeah, but um. You know, just, uh, and Tommy was cool. And I'm like, all right, this show is terrible. That guy's awesome. <laughs> so, All right, well, let's reel it back in. we got to go back to Ren and Stimpy. We're going off another. Let's digress. <laughs> the 90s were full of great things, <laughs> Ren and Stimpy being one. But there are so many. And some terrible things. Um, but not terrible, Ren and Stimpy. Yeah. So, <laughs> do you have um, a favorite character? From Ren and Stimpy? Yeah. I have to say, always, my favorite character was always Stimpy. Yeah, Stimpy's I love great. Stimpy. I could because I think because like magic I could, nose. I could draw him. <laughs> hey, Ren. <laughs> I think that was the main reason I liked him so much is I could draw him. I was a big Ren fan, and um, but then he got like really weird. <laughs> I'm just gonna take time. I'm sorry if you hear the noise. My dog's going nuts right now. <laughs> she's she's so excited. Bad. We're talking Ren and Stimpy. I mean, hey, she is. She's she's very excited. She's running around and. Uh, yeah. Clickety clickety. Yeah. Yeah, you know, when we hear the clicks and the thuds, that's just her. Yeah, she's hitting the wall. <laughs> she's she's going a little crazy. Well, I, I played her some amphetamine's a hell of a drug. No, I was playing her the happy, happy, joy, joy song before you came over. Oh, see that's why. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's it's got uh it's it's programmed for dogs. It is. It makes them makes them nuts. <laughs> so who is your favorite character in Red Stimpy? I you know what? I like I like the main characters and all that, but um, I really liked Mr. Horse. You know, <laughs> hey, is that your girlfriend? No, sir. That's my sheep. <laughs> He's kissing it. <laughs> I did like uh, I did like Mr. Horse a lot. 
I think that, that's what makes Ren and Strippy so great is the adult humor was hidden so <laughs> well that you watch it now and you're just like, I don't I even can't believe this out got on a kid's TV. It. You know, like some of the stuff, like, like then there was this whole dynamic of where like Ren was married to Stimpy and yeah. it's like, okay, you know, they have like these different sort of roles. It was weird. <laughs> yeah, they slept in the same bed and had pajamas. Yeah, I remember that well, stuff. did you see the adult party cartoons they made like years later? <laughs> yeah. You know? And so and this woman is shaving in the shower, and she's using Ren to actually shave herself. <laughs> That's what I'm saying is you watch it as an adult. You sit there and go, how did this make it on a kid's show? Oh, yeah. It and, should have been on, like, an adult swim or something. And they were days. clearly making fun of David Hasselhoff. Oh, yeah, all the time. Yeah. Another another uh, SpongeBob tie in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. When you think about it. Did that reinvigorate his career, SpongeBob? Or was, is, I just is David Hasselhoff just a timeless classic? I think he's a timeless classic that just won't die. No. I mean, you had Knight Rider, Baywatch. Yeah, I mean, that's all he needs. But, I mean, you know, then there's, like, Baywatch him, Nights. Him drunk eating a sandwich on the floor. Terrible Nick Talking Fury movie. <laughs> yes. Off-Broadway production of Jekyll and Hyde. <laughs> These are real things. <laughs> You're not embellishing. <laughs> Don't hassle the Hoff. <laughs> yeah, no, seriously. And well, then he also had a music career in Germany. I bet he had his own Pogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mom, we're going to get the Pogs of David Hasselhoff. <laughs> yes. Germans love David Hasselhoff. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, was it Dodgeball, the movie when uh, oh, you get yeah, ready to play the Germans? Yep. And David Hasselhoff has his picture and he's yelling at him. <laughs> <laughs> and then he breaks it. <laughs> Oh, uh, the average Joe's. That was a good movie, man. It was. That was funny. I, I love Alan Tudyk in that. He's like, might there be treasure? <laughs> Could be. <laughs> what am I going to do with this giant dog in the treasure? <laughs> oh, okay. Ready to dodgeball. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, see, that's just the, how these universes work. If you can, dodge off, a question, you, you can dodge a ball. <laughs> Isn't that, isn't that presidential slogan? That's how they run? If you can dodge a question, you can run for president. Yeah, well, probably, right? That's the political thing to do. I, I guess. I don't know. Let, yeah. me, let me ask. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, we, we had the, like, the, the really gross aspect of the show, which was really funny. Oh, yeah. It's always hairballs. Belly button lint was always a big one. His Toe um, jam. His fart. Yeah, right? fart. Stinky, his fart, where he left home. And I think it was voiced by Bobcat Goldthwait. <laughs> I think it was. Yep. Celebrity guest, um, Gilbert Gottfried. Yeah. Uh, Gary Owens. I, I can't even remember all the voices, though. Yeah. I mean, it's... Uh, I always thought it was funny. Yeah, Money he, the Bunt Skipper. They always had stink lines coming off of them. And Pretty much. <laughs> Do you remember the one where they deep fried the Buick? Yes. Hey, hey, Bailey, <laughs> can you deep fry that daddy's Buick? <laughs> I always just love the sound effects in the show, too. Billy the Beef Tallow Boy. That's who it was. <laughs> beef Tallow. That's yeah. gross stuff. <laughs> yeah, but the sound effects in the show are, are playing in my head right now. Like I'm picturing like Stimpy like slowly like looking up. <laughs> 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 and every time they like zoom in, it's always like gross hair and <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> the mean, fog horn. there's all kinds of grossness that we're like they show like nasty fingernails and oh yeah, nasty in the fingernails episode, and, and oh. Ren's gross teeth and. His disgusting brain. Stimpy bites a corn that was on, on his foot or like a blister or something and it explodes in like this gross thing of pus. It was so nasty. I yeah. loved it. <laughs> there was a lot of nastiness. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, they, they did a lot with color there that I yes. think that the animation itself was not... You know, it was stylized. Yeah. Like, I mean, it was a Spumunko animation and they did, um, they did a Weird Al video. They did a um, Weird Al video. Yeah, they did a Weird Al video, too. So, um, I don't remember this. Yeah, Close But No Cigar, which, uh, you know, maybe maybe I'll put a link to it up on um, either Facebook or Twitter, something like that. But, um, I mean, you can definitely tell it's their sort of animation. But um, the funny thing is it was always very subdued, but the colors really are what made it with, like, these, these sort of earthy tones that were just gross. It reminded me a lot of uh, Monty Python. Yes, it was very Monty Python-esque. Yeah. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just looking at all these great episodes and yeah, life. There's a lot of good stuff in there. You know, like a Don't Whiz on the Electric Fence, you know, a perennial classic. Oh, yeah, that's always... Yes, man, you are in. 
I think that was the great thing too. Is I know it had such great accents that I could copy as a kid. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, there was a lot of things that were imitatable about this show. Yeah. Hey kids, it's Buddy the Man Skipper. <laughs> they uh, they directly made fun of um, in the belly button one. They made fun of Fred and Barney. Yeah. Was, hey, come on, Barney, let's get out of here. <laughs> okay, Fred. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't do I don't do the Fred Flintstone. I do the um, fake Fred Flintstone from Family Guy. <laughs> Here I am trying to get my rocks off. <laughs> like, what? Actually, you sound just like that one. <laughs> that's, that's not saying I do the bad impression. <laughs> so, if you've never watched Ren and Stimpy, I highly suggest go go seek it out. Go find an episode. And just watch it. I, I was looking for it, so I did find it. You can get it on Amazon Prime. They're they're charging for the whole season or something like that. Um, but I, it's not hard to find something these days. Maybe on YouTube. Maybe after you're watching one of your favorite shows to listen to. You never know. Yeah. Introduce your kids to it. I'm, I'm not going to... I showed Chloe and Matthew this because it was on... Yeah. It was on, like, Netflix or Amazon, like... It was, yeah. A year ago yep. for free. And I played it for them because, you know, they're like, oh, I want to watch something. So I put it on and I said, this is one of my favorite. I sat and watched it with them. They absolutely loved it. Yeah. And they even Chloe still today is like, I want to watch Ren and Stimpy. My kids love it too. You know, and, and my kids are very different from each other in what they like and their tastes. And they each loved it. Oh, so, yeah. I mean, it is. It's, it's a timeless classic. It is. And, and it's great that you can sit down and watch it and actually laugh along with it. I mean, I'm looking forward to watching it again. And I, I want to watch that uh, Royal Canadian Kilted Yaxman <laughs> one. So... It's, Wait, it's I'm trying to th- the song's kind of coming back to me. my country reeks so of cheese. cheese or something like that yeah. our yaks are really, really large, large and they smell oh like rotting God. beef carcasses there you go the song <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes yes there you go there's something in there about beavers I think yeah and sand blowing up their skirts yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so go watch it because even as an adult you can watch and laugh it with laugh along with it if you're watching it with kids or if you're just watching it by yourself yeah it, even, you're still gonna laugh yeah i mean it's 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 the, something that you're gonna enjoy um or, or not you know if you hate it that's cool too <laughs> and, i haven't uh, found anybody that hates it because even the songs are my mom hates it too <laughs> oh my god <laughs> she hates it i would watch this with my dad and we were like these two subversive punks sitting there you know and she's like you're letting your son watch this and he's like uh yeah yeah, duh. What is that thing? A mosquito? <laughs> it's like, no, it's a chihuahua. <laughs> it's a really, really stupid, deformed chihuahua. Uh, it's funny because chihuahuas got like really popular, maybe in the did. early 2000s and all that. And I kept thinking, I'm like, oh, Ren and Stimpy, man. I think that was based on Taco Bell. They got popular. No, oh, Carlos Yoki. Alves Rocky did the voice of that. The voice Yoki of Rocco. Taco Bell. Yeah. <laughs> that, um, the first one, I think, was with uh, Godzilla in like 1996. <laughs> <laughs> well, what anyway. What a great movie that was. So. <laughs> Timeless. All right. Well, go out, find the episodes, play the video games. Ren and Stippy's everywhere. Yep. Play the video they're all games. Great. You could probably find an emulator to play them. You probably could. You could probably watch a YouTube video of any of these. Yes, or probably go on eBay. You could probably find it cheap. Find the vintage record or Laserdisc. <laughs> Laser That's your local blockbuster. Go out, listen to the songs, sing along with them. You should, because it would be funny to see what other people look like when you do. They look at me, because I sing Happy Happy Joy Joy in the Canadian Royal Yaxman when it actually comes on and I can sing along with it. Yeah, I like to ride the bus on the weekends and do that. <laughs> the short bus. <laughs> <laughs> you right. promised you wouldn't tell. <laughs> Alright, everybody. So, <laughs> like, subscribe, follow us on social media. And, uh, yeah, so, and also our challenge is, uh, right now, Ren and Stimpy versus Beavis and Butthead, so. That's right, and as much as we, like, we each love Ren and Stimpy, we can appreciate that there are a difference in fans, so I think that it's something that there's going to be enough contests on that I might actually pull out a victory. No, I'm always going to win. I've got such a thing planned for you. Oh, do you? I do. It's so obscure. Oh, no. (laughs) Well, anyway. Till next time, this is Justin with an E. And Justin with an I. Smell you later. (laughs) Nice one.